Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to learn how to use a 300 meter extension kit to set up a IP system for multiple devices. So this system we will be setting it over 300 meters. So that's why we need this 300 meter extension kit. So first of all, when we set up a system that far away, we have to consider two things. One is the, how to extend the signal because due to the IEA 023 protocol, PoE signals are limited to 100 meters. We will need to help from some devices to extend the signal. Then second, it's the power. For 300 meters, power, the power loss will be massive, so we have to figure out how many power we actually need at our data source to give enough power for the devices at the end. So these are the two questions we need to solve first. After these two are solved, then we might face the chance of setting this IP system out, outdoors. When it's outdoors, we need to make sure the devices that are exposed outdoor will be able to resist the water and dust. Because if it's not waterproof, then the water and dust might compromise the components inside, which will damage our device. So these are three things we need to consider. So first, about the distance we can use the 300 meter extension kit. The 300 meter extension kit comes with two one input, one output PoE extenders. For those who are familiar with these, you might wonder these can only extend 100 meter each. Then this, do we just daisy chain them? Well, yes, that is a way, but if we just daisy chain them, they can only reach a, max, a total of 300 meters. But there is a special way we can use we can face these two, the two input ports. We can face the two input ports towards each other. If we connect it like this, we will have 300 meters and in the middle section. So the middle section will have 300 meters and we have 100 meters on each side as well. So a total of 500 meters. So even if we have to over, go over 300 meters a bit, we can still be able to use it by using these two extension extenders. And also these are waterproof, so when we set these outside, they are rated IP67, so it will still be okay for direct burial. And then after we solve the method for the distance, let's look, take a look at power. For power, I'm going to recommend the 95 watts PoE injector. Our fast cabling PoE injector can output 95 watts of power and usually at 100 meters the reminder is going to be like 71 watts so at 300 we would still have over 50 watts and that's pretty efficient for us and this also has some monitors on on in the indicator on the front panel right here so you can watch how many power it is output currently and then easily connected to the power so we can just plug in and then it will start working in a PO injector the ethernet cable will intake the data from our data source and then output PoE signals through here. So it's pretty easy to use as well. So now we've solved the power and the distance right here. Now let's take a look at how we're gonna connect to multiple IP devices outdoors. In this case, we're gonna use this outdoor PoE powered switch. So the PoE powered switch, for those who are familiar, it is the device that acts as a, both a power sourcing equipment and a power device. When it connects to our network and it receives the PoE signal, it will use a small portion of the PoE signal to power itself up. Afterwards, all the other ports will be redistributed with PoE signals and then connect with other IP devices acting as a power sourcing equipment. Also, I like a PoE switch. It has data exchange functions, so it's really a good setup for like a mini network outdoors far away. And it's waterproof, you can tell from the metal casing. It's, this is also rated IP67, and the metal casing can help it release more heat more efficiently than other materials. All right, that's about all the things we're gonna to use to set up this small system. Now let's take a look at how we actually do it. First of all, we're gonna use a short patch cord to connect our router, which is our, dat our source for our data and connect it to our injector. And then of course, connect our injector to the power. And once this is done, 
we will have PLE signals ready to output. Then we use another Ethernet cable. And then we use another Ethernet cable right here, connect it to our extenders. So since we're facing the two input ports towards each other, the injector is going to go to one output port. And then we're going to use a long Ethernet cable that can go all the way up to 300 meters. And then insert it in the input port of one extender. And then take the second extender, take the metal waterproof glands off, and then the input port on the second extender. So this section here is all able to go up to 300 meters. Then finally, we take an Ethernet cable and connect our, PoE, our second PoE extender to our PoE powered switch. And remember, when we are using an eight port PoE powered switch, the PoE signal has to go to port number eight because that is the port that will receive the PoE signal and power itself up. And now you can see that the indicator in our PoE powered switch is on, which means this device is currently receiving power. It's pretty awesome. So if we place this outdoors, we don't need any power outlet near it. So we can just use an ethernet cable to solve all the power supplies. And then finally, we connect our PTZ camera to any port, any other seven ports, and then the power will go through it and you can see the PTZ camera activating itself. Self-diagnosis. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them at the section below. Thank you guys for watching today. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.